Hello. Hello, am I audible to all of you? Hello, Abdul. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good evening, Professor Sharma. Good evening, Professor. How are you, sir? Yeah, I'm fine. So today is the last date. Okay, sir. So I have to finish two things. Number one, how to create the chart. Right. Interpret the chart. And mean different statistics. And the okay. last one is the correlation. Okay. Okay. So first hour, that will be the chart and mean difference. And the second hour will be the correlation. So. Yes, Professor. Uh, I will give some time, at least the five minutes time for, that is the break. So there will be no problem. Right. Uh, students can manage the their attention time, memory time. I will right. arrange in that manner. And uh, I think students will be joining or maybe somewhat less students may also be there today because many of them were going back to their home. So I'm yes, not uh, a lot of the festivals are going on. Right. So I understand. So and today I have discussed with Professor Chatachi. Yeah. And uh, she has told me that is uh, this is the condition. Then I have decided to close the uh, our session. Yes, Professor. And it is heavily raining, raining also here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This week it is going to be in you know, that. So is whatever problem. the knowledge uh, they have received, I think in near future they can do many things. Yes, definitely they should because be. the business statistics very, very important now it is. Very true. In fact, uh, Professor, I mean, uh, when we work on our uh, papers, also research people also, at times we do not understand how to uh, analyze those those data and it's that is very very important for that matter sure 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 definitely there are a lot of the statistical tools for analysis of the data right and uh, we have to uh, think about how to collect the data uh, how to design the sampling frame so that the sampling error we can control Absolutely. Sampling error is very serious issue now it yes. is. So we have to think how can we control the sampling error. Usually people say that is if your sample size is very high, then automatically sampling error will be less. But that is not right. true. Right. This is my experience. So sampling error occurs for different reasons. So right. one must be very much cautious for the sampling error. True, Professor. So uh, I'm starting my lecture now. That yes, is, sir. what is the problem in business? In business management, the most important part is you have to take the business decision. So, what do you mean by the business decision? When you think about the business decision, the company will ask you that if I want to launch one product 
and if i want to make some forecasting about the company productivity then how we can design our human resources how we can design our financial resources how we can design our project project planning project budget project time so there are different uh, tools for example part is there another one is the cpm critical part method so like the different type of uh, methods are there for the project management so this is vital for the business decision another issue that is how we can change the market how we can change the market what will be our design for changing the market so changing the market means changing the market demand once upon a time people do not have any knowledge about statistics and professor prashant chandra malanavish the father of indian statistics he first time told us about the importance of statistics and he applied different models of statistics in our planning our first five year planning second five year planning both help reducing the poverty level and if you study professors vision about the planning you will find that is professor has given maximum importance on social responsibility he first time told us that profit will not be the motive social responsibility will be the motive of any company any business house and if you study the thought of the management guru peter drucker so i am requesting all of you please you study peter drucker's theory you will find the peter drucker he is no more now and he gave special importance on social responsibility therefore it's a challenge for the business how we can manage the profit as well as the social responsibility if you get opportunity to divis damodar valley corporation professor malanavish he designed the business objective of the damodar valley corporation the first objective very clearly written social responsibility 
that means when he will create the barrage okay for the thermal power generation or for controlling the floods you have to think the social responsibility so later on the experts in planning commission they were not able to manage the social responsibility and the profit therefore they paid major attention to the profit and again we find a high level of poverty and still poverty prevails because we are not paying much attention to our social responsibility that is the vital issue and professor he demonstrated first time that is how you can analyze the industrial data for the consultancy related to productivity related to quality control earlier the management people are thinking about the production but professor mohalana wish first time he told us think about productivity so production in quality so what is important you have to control the quality quality control that will be the thrust area of the industrial engineer of the business people business management people and he first time launched the idea that is statistical quality control and operation research and he motivated some of the researchers to study statistics as well as how to provide statistical consultancy to the business people okay or to the managers to the authorities i personally did one research on jute industry so one jute industry jute manufacturing organization located in howrah they told me that is sir we want to launch a new instrument new machine but 
the union create lot of the pressure so we cannot launch we cannot purchase we cannot import the machine from europe and in the current situation if we want to give good salary to the employees the profit should be high the market is very much competitive in nature so what will be the solution finally i applied the statistical quality control and operation research model from the behavioral perspective okay and you would be happy that finally the company was able to manage the union people and imported the machine started innovation techniques started innovative training and the company was able not to close down by the pressure of union leaders okay i presented this uh, data in delhi and i received the award from our late president pranab mukherjee so what is important that not the qualitative judgment only you have to design your model in such a manner so that you can provide maximum benefit to your company then company will hire you and you will be able to manage the good career okay so now you think the two conditions condition a and the condition b condition a you have the productivity data and condition b you have the productivity data okay now what is the condition a and condition b condition a means before launching the 
machine. Before innovation, that is the condition A. And next is the condition B, that is after innovation. Okay. So, what is important? That is the collection of data. Two types of data or two sources of data you are supposed to collect. First one, the secondary sources. That means Here, that is one department, that is the quality control department. So from the quality control department, we can get the quality of production of different types of jute. You know that is a jute industry, it's called the sunset industry. And I had the challenge to make jute industry as the sunrise industry. The jute mill where I did research name is Ombika jute mill. It is located in Howrah. You know that is the Bengal produced maximum jute in India. So this jute mill is located in Howrah, nearby the Belur. Belur Mot, you know. Okay, so that is the condition A before launching the machine. And next one is the launching the machine. So before innovation and after the innovation. So that is the secondary source of the data. How I collect it? I visited the company, the factory, repeatedly. I observed, I analyzed. the difficulties of the people who are working in the company. I have analyzed the processing speed. I have analyzed how different departments of the company are interlinked. So all these things I analyzed. Then several times 
I met the union leaders, C2 leaders, INTUC leaders, BMS, Bharat Mazdur Shangha, that leader, and other leaders. Next, I met the different level of managers. I collected data. About the current production. So I did short analysis. You know that short analysis is very important in business management. Strength, weakness, opportunity, and threat. And maybe I received more than 300 responses. Finally, I categorized them into five categories for my research, for my intervention. Okay, so this is the most important part in business. Maybe you know the statistics, you know the principles of business management, but you are not able to handle it how to apply statistics, how to apply statistics in improving the productivity of the company, in achieving the future target of production or productivity of the company. So this is very important. So I collected data from the workers about their knowledge. in relation to their department-wise production. Then, with the help of Central Board for Workers' Education, one training manual that was prepared and all the employees following some sampling plan were trained. Based upon the syllabus. In this manner, we have developed the good interpersonal relationship, the trust of employees to the company authority we have developed. All the employees were able to understand the role of government policies 
because during my research time, India started the crisis because that time India started new economic policy. Totally new economic policy. So that was a threat to both company as well as the employees. So what we have done, we collected the data. That is the pre-intervention data and the post-intervention data. So intervention means this training. Okay, another data I analyzed, that is the during intervention. So not only the pre post, but also during the intervention. Why during intervention? So that I can understand the change. Because without change, the <coughs> No planning, future planning can be made. So change is important. That means productivity mean before intervention and productivity mean after the intervention. So what is intervention in our research? Intervention is assumed here as independent variable. So in business research, you have to test the hypothesis. So what is the hypothesis here? Productivity level after the in intervention would be significantly higher than that of before intervention. So in this research, intervention is your independent variable and productivity is your dependent variable. Okay. So for that reason, you can 
use the mean difference statistics. Now I am giving you five minutes time. After that, I will present you the Excel sheet so that you can understand the mean difference. Okay? So please you take five minutes time. You take water, five minutes break. Professor Sharma, five minutes break. Yes, sir, that's fine. I think the story that I have given is clear to all of the students. Okay, I think so. That, that should be, and that is very, very apt example, sir. It Thank is quite you. interesting, quite interesting. Thank you, sir.
Okay. I am sharing the screen. I have presented my research. That is a study on impact assessment of workers' education in the governing body meeting of Central Board for Workers' Education, Delhi, in 2005. Why I'm sharing? Because before the break, I discussed you about what is my research. So these are some of the objectives. Workers' education. I have studied workers' perspective as well as the organizational perspective. I studied the training process satisfaction, job satisfaction or employee satisfaction, acquiring knowledge, that is the workers' perspective, and organizational perspective is productivity, improvement, wastage reduction, quality improvement, accident reduction, absenteeism reduction, return of investment change, and the finally change in organizational climate or organizational health. So here I have done the research. I told you know, the Pombika Jute Mill, the employees, the siren, and it is located nearby the Belur Mot and the bank of the river Ganges. So this is the company profile. So you will find that is a shoot. I told you I collected data from the manager, so the president of the company. I told you I collected data from the union leaders. So they are the NTUC leader. And these are the workers, managers. I collected data and he is the C2 leader. Finally, the course contents prepared by us. So that is the manual reviewing. That is the training program. I observed their training program. Interviewing the trainees. So this is the data. C35 statements, I have told you from the open-ended interview with managers, supervisor, worker, and trade union leaders. After that, statements were coded and content analysis was made. Result revealed that most of the statements were related to improvement in productivity. Departments under study and flow of work. So when you want to study the company, you have to study the flow of work. So first is the batching. Next is spinning. Third is weaving. Fourth is finishing. This is the objective. This is the study model. I have told you the independent variable. So this is the independent variable training. I control the sum of the intervening variables, that is technology, training, month, supervision, raw material, and this is the dependent variable, change in subjective variable, that is knowledge, training satisfaction, individual performance, absenteeism, accident, organizational performance, productivity, wastage, quality control. So, collected the data. This is the primary source. 
So this is the sample criteria, psychometric testing. And I have done the T-test, chi-squared test, and some of the multivariate test. So here you can find the trainee and non-trainee difference. So this is the mean difference. And this is the correspondence analysis. This is also mean difference. Uh, with respect to productivity, wastage control, quality control, etc. So this is the training process satisfaction. This is the pre, during, post. objective data collection. I have told you that is the data before, during, before, during. I compare the month I have selected based upon their observation. Products for assessing productivity, fine yarn, coarse yarn, Asian cloth, sacking cloth. So here you can find out the fine yarn quality production before intervention and after intervention. Okay. So this is the data. Basically, this is the mean difference. Again, the mean difference, Hessian and Shacking. Wastage, Slive Arcades. In the batching department, Slive Arcades. In the spinning department, the trade. Weaving department, trade, trade. Gani cutting is the finishing. So I identified the typical types of wastage. Now here you can find out the mean difference with respect to the wastage. Again, this is the wastage. So you have noted that is the after the intervention wastage is reduced. So these are the quality control parameters on which I have done the research. So CB means coefficient of variation. This is the change in quality control data. That is the before intervention and the after intervention. Accident pattern analysis. So I identified the minor unsafe accident before and during the training periods. This is the stacked bar chart. Analysis of absenteeism pattern. Pattern of absence of workers. The mean difference before, after, before, after, before, after. So that is the conclusion. Okay. So this is all about the mean difference. Now, I will tell you how do you analyze the mean difference.
So, what is important, you have to do have to collect the pre-training. Okay, so suppose uh, maybe the different departments are there. Name is A, B, C, D, like that. And you have collected data from each department. Maybe this is your first data. 40, department A, productivity is 40. P training. And department A, productivity is 30, post training. Department B, pre training 50. And department B, post training is 40. But in case of the C, P training productivity 25 and the post training is 45. So like that, you have the data, productivity data. Then you can calculate the mean difference. Pre training, post training. So you have noted that is the post-training productivity level. Are poor in case of the two departments, A and B, but not for other departments, okay? So this is the basically mean difference, 40 minus 30. Like that, you will get the D. And then you can calculate the D square. That means this So you can copy then you can paste. Okay. After that you can calculate. the sum next so this is the summation d square. The summation d square. Now I can write down count in bracket. Colon. Nine. So how what I can do? So that is the average difference. Okay, so summation d square. 
divided by the site. This is basically the Euclidean distance. Now the problem lies here. That is the pre-training. Mean is 41.67. And the post-training is 58.88. I can calculate the standard deviation. Okay, so the, this is the standard deviation. I can calculate the standard deviation divided by mean. Into hundred. So that is the Coefficient of variation percentage. So if you do not add the 100, then you will get 0 0.26. Similarly, you can do this analysis. Nineteen point. That is the ST divided by the mean divided by the mean and you will get 0 0.33 so that is the coefficient of variation but the problem lies there since it is a company and there are only the nine departments. So you have collected the data from the population basically. Okay, that is that nine departments are there and you have collected the data from the nine departments. But in some situation where you have the population that is 100, and you have selected the only the nine sample. Again, the P training and the post training. Then the question is whether this difference will occur. If you collect the data from the total population, Okay, then what is important, you have to assess the t-test. So equal to t, 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 test. It is written range one. So that is your range, okay colon, then it is written range two. Colon, then it is written tail, 
tail means one tail test, two tail test. I have already discussed you the tail test. So I'm writing one tail test. Okay, and the error type one or type two error. I'm written type one. Error. Okay, so this is the T ratio. T statistics we have received 0 0.009. Okay. Now, another thing is, now I want to make the chart about whether the difference is there or not. So I can collect the data. I have selected only the D means the difference, the chart. So this is the bar plot. And you will find that is the first two departments. Uh, the change is not there. But in case of other departments, change is there. So this is the bar plot. So here you can find the pre and post training data. So this is the pre-training initially and the post training, okay. So you have noted only the difference between the pre-training and the post-training. You can change the chart. It is written column chart. You can change the chart as this one. Okay, this is also another chart. You can apply this chart also. So there are different types of chart. And in this chart, you can show that is the positive side and the negative side. So that is the advantage of this type of chart. This is the line chart. This is the bar chart. This is also bar chart. Here it is vertical and here it is horizontal. And you have the difference. Therefore, you can do another analysis you want to show the difference. You can select both. After that, you can select the chart. So that is the difference. Okay. Pre-training and the post-training. We have noted that is then the first two departments, post-training productivity less, but other seven departments, post-training productivity is very high. Okay, so this is the advantage here. You can show both the pre-training as well as the post-training. Next, I am going to the another chart. This is the stacked bar plot. 
it is written pre training another one is the post training okay and you can find out that is the difference between us two departments and other seven departments is the figure you can apply the line chart also but it is better to use the bar plot here you can apply this again you can apply this one so here you can show both the line chart as well as the bar chart okay so i have shown you both the mean difference application of the mean difference and how you can use the google sheet for your chart so this class will continue after up to 9:30 so i am giving you some break 5 minutes break after that again i will take the class so please have the break and if you have any question you can ask me otherwise you can take the break today is the last class so we have understood how to apply the statistics in changing or in improving the productivity of the company in reducing the wastage of the company in reducing the accident level of the company and how you can collect the data and how you will analyze the data and how we you present the data through the different charts or data visualization next i will teach you the correlation so now you take 5 minutes break after that i will take class
Okay, students. So you have taken adequate rest. The break is there. Five minutes break is over. Now I will show you what do you mean by the correlation. The two events are simultaneously occurring. Okay. Two events are simultaneously occurring. And the changing is this one. So two events. are simultaneously occurring, they're changing in one direction. Okay. For example, thundering and the lightning. That means there is a high correlation between the two. Now it may happen that direction is different but in the same direction. It may happen. Okay. So here we find the linear status. So this is the linearity. So if it is a high, that means it is low. In both cases, the linearity is same. So in this is called positive relationship between the two events. According to the two events, they are positively related. Okay. That means lower the intelligence level, lower the academic achievement, or opposite, higher the intelligence level, higher is the academic achievement. So we can say this is the positive relationship. Now, there is some situation where we can find out the different direction of relationship. This is high and this is opposite. Okay. So this is called negative relationship. Sometimes the relationship is like this.
some data another event what does it mean that means there is not we do not find any linearity so the events are occurring randomly when the events are occurring randomly then we do not find any good relation okay so in that context it will be the zero correlation now i am showing you back sheets okay and the relation is like this so if it is 1 and if it is 5 it moves in this way if it is 1 and if it is 5 then it moves in this way suppose this is the demand demand increases again the supply increases so the relationship is positive relationship and when it will touch here then it will be called as the relationship is 1.00 okay now here is another relationship but here it is 5 it is 1 and it is 1 it is 5 so the relationship is like this so this is called the negative relationship now another relationship that means both the events are occurring randomly and there is no relationship so this relationship is zero okay there is no relationship between the two so i have shown you the positive relationship the negative relationship and the zero relationship now i am sharing that data
so this is the pre training data okay 40 50 25 like that that is the pre training data and this is the post training data okay now i want to find out how these two sets of variables they are related with each other so initially i have to do the scatter plot so the scatter plot i can select okay so initially you have to select the two sets of data after that you click the plus sign then chart then type there you can get the scatter plot okay so this is your data pre training and the post training so what you have noted how many observations are there nine observations are there so what is the first data that is 40 30 50 40 so again i will select i will go chart type scatter plot okay so this is clear to you 30 and the 40 50 so you will get 30 to 60 and from 0 to 100 so pre and post training the relation is positive and you can find out one line here It is just a line. Okay. And so this, if I can draw one line, it will be called as the regression line. That means based upon the one data, from one axis, you can predict the data in another axis. Okay. So that is possible if you can draw the line. Another important thing is that some data, so these three data, points they are away from the regression line okay since these three are regression away from the regression line there is a possibility that the correlation coefficient will not be very high okay so let's see the correlation coefficient to assess the correlation coefficient the formula is this c o r r e l and you will find the data y and data x Okay, so 
this is your data colon and there is a comma so you will remove the comma after that you have to give the comma so the data y and the data x then you can click this one after that this sorry first this one then so it is a range oh So it will be the C10. I can write down. Okay. So B2 colon B10. This is the range. And C2 colon C10. This is another range. So what is the correlation between the two? Okay, the correlation is 0 0.45. That means the relation is positive, but this is not very high positive. Why not high positive? because some variables okay they are basically deviated from the regression line therefore what is important you have to think that is why these data are away from the regression line. So this regression line is very important in case of any selection, any training, in making any policy decision everywhere. So today you have learned the scattered plot. You have learned the regression line. As well as you have learned how to calculate the correlation using the Google Sheet. Okay. So by using your mobile, you can solve many problems. But keep in mind, your data will be limited. It's very hard. Large data, then it becomes difficult. So at that time, you can use the R statistics, R script. In near future, when I will teach our script at that time, you can join. And you will learn the art script. Art script is very important for the data analysis. Okay. So do you have any question? Okay, I think there is no question. So thank you, dear students. Abdul, Aman, Anand Kumar, Catherine, Farah, Janki, Manshi, Pritesh, Ramasanjit, Shatik, Sujan, Deepthi, and Professor Sharma. Thank you all thank you thank you sir thank you sir thank you everyone thank you sir thank you sir thank you very much sir
so please you apply whatever i have taught you <coughs> in near future my best wishes to all of you to all the faculties and to professor mudumita chatterjee and all the office bearers of your institute on behalf of pravindik psychotherapy research institute trust i paid my regards to all of you thank you okay good night best wishes to all of you good night sir